What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the labs. If this is your first time hanging out with us, a fine welcome to you as well. Today, we're gonna check out something a little new. I call this maybe, I haven't quite decided what this little uh, segment's gonna be called. Maybe tea time with Tausty or something like that. I got a nice hot cup of tea with me. I'm gonna look at a new game, and this is gonna be uh, an area where I check out new games. I'm, again, not, not sold on the name yet, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. But um, today we're going to start to kick this off with Empyreon Galactic Survival. I'll play a couple episodes of this, see what you guys think. This is a new survival game that's on Steam. Um, put out by a group that is just allowed this game to come out of NDA. So it's an early pre-alpha. And that right there is a flag for a lot of people that don't want to watch or play. Um, but this game is functional to a degree it's it's buggy it's got some issues um but it is a playable fun game to me this is um this is sort of like space engineers done right it's built on the same engine i think um so i think it's all in the unity engine but to me this is really what space engineers should have been and we'll get into that a little bit as we go so let's fire this bad boy up let's go uh new game Let's call this tea time. Oh, that's not it. Time. And our starting location is Omicron, which is a desert planet with mountain ranges, lakes, plains, and rugged terrain. The atmosphere is relatively thin and non-breathable. However, oxygen can be generated from the water of the lakes. The average temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, pretty warm, and the gravity amounts to 9.8 meters per second squared. So just like Earth. Well, technically it's negative on Earth. I don't know if that's left out on purpose but um we're gonna hop in here and see how we do this is a pre-made uh pre-made planet but eventually this will be procedurally generated this says find a good spot for your base i have not determined whether or not there is a way to fly this puppy yet so here we are on lovely omicron we got a big moon or planet of some sort up there lovely lens flares a couple things we gotta worry about right off the bat we have health to worry about food oxygen stamina we got a jetpack there's some gravity um i discovered a new resource deposit of promethium size three so there's some promethium in that direction um we can in fact take a look at us a little bit uh that's that's about it that's all we got um we are equipped off the bat with a drill and a pistol but no extra ammo coming over here we got ourselves some resources to work with some farmable resources to work with i'm gonna leave all that there i uh, got a constructor this is very similar to space engineers i hope the sound mix is okay i tested it a little bit uh some iron over there it looks like that's good some oxygen containers that aren't functional. Ah, here we go. These are the big ones. And some more stuff. So, first things we're gonna want is to put this up here. It's a filler flattener tool. Uh, some charges. We'll put the water on here. We'll put our food on here. Flashlight, why not? Uh, here's some extra ammo for the pistol and an extra pistol actually Not a bad thing here, and we'll get to the rest of this as we move forward So I know a little bit about this game not a lot I'm not sure if we are actually going to be able to um, fly this little crashed uh, What is this called? Small vessel it's an escape pod a lifeboat of some sort Um there should be I thought we could access our fuel from here where does our fuel go in <clears throat> can I go in here nope don't think so hmm let's see here where's our fuel tanks Fuel tanks. Can we access that from here? We cannot. Turn it on, which is good. 
And we'll go ahead and turn on our power with, with Y. Power doesn't really come on though because we got no fuel. First thing we need is we're gonna have to make sure that there is some extra oxygen in here for us. Because we're already starting to lose oxygen. I don't know what the deal is here, why I can't get at the fuel cells. Maybe it's a silly plant. There we go. So put all five of them in there for now. Actually, we'll keep two out. So if we hop back in here, I think the power is on now. It is, everything's lit up, so off, on. Now, we could do some exploring. Um, we're going to need to get a bit of stuff fairly, fairly quickly here. But the first thing that you need to do in any good survival game is make a base. Now, I am fairly certain here that there is no way to fly this puppy. Um, we cannot go and find... Um, Yeah, we cannot find a way off this uh, area. We'd have to walk for some time. And really, I want to explore that over there. But it's a bit farther than it looks. So, we need a way of getting food and oxygen and a place to stay. So the first thing I want to check out is how effective this is in this area. O2 source quality, none. No oxygen source. So it actually does need to be in water. Oh boy, is there a way to pick this up? Oh, not good. Let's say we'll be right back. Okay, so we got things loaded up, got back to where we are, um, and we have not made the colossal mistake of putting the generator down in the wrong place. I wasn't sure if this had to go in water. I knew it could go in water, but this generator will actually just create oxygen for us from an oxygen source. So I'm gonna guess that if there's lots of plants nearby, maybe that'll help. What is that over there? We need to go check that out. I wish there's a, there is a way to zoom uh, with guns, but I don't really have a gun that zooms yet. So, I'm gonna plop this on the water, take a look at it. No energy source. Boom, O2 source quality, 80%. Every two minutes, this will produce a bottle of oxygen for us, which we can use at our oxygen system. Now, um, we don't have to do a whole lot of mining off the bat because we're kitted out with our starter resources and they're pretty good to get up and running. And so from what I understand, you really need to get a base going um, with a fuel and generator system and then eventually uh, a better replicator system and all sorts of stuff. You can make refrigerators and kitchens and things like that to keep your food good longer because all the food is perishable. Um, let's just take a look in our inventory here. This does not stack and it will perish very soon. Can I eat it? No, it does not look like it. We have our emergency rations though, that'll work. Um, if we look in here in the constructor, we can see that we have, can make things. So I put all of our raw resources in here. That'll really help for now. The first thing that I need to make is uh, this base starter, which requires eight of these, which needs metal plates, which are components. So by clicking on this, we'll make 10 metal plates out of five iron ingots, and we have 100. So let's make five iterations of 10. That should be good. And we are able to make um, 
more fuel if, when we need it. We'll probably need that very soon, actually. So, let's just take a look at this. Can I do that from here? No, I cannot. Let's fire her up. I love that UI, though. I, I can't wait to build something that flies in this. That'll be fun. And you can see the constructors going to town. And we can turn off individual components of the ship. So if you're in here and you hit P by default, it brings up this control panel. This works for most electronic um, base things, bases and ships and stuff like that. And you can individually control and turn off different components. So for example, this doesn't take a lot of power, but if I turn it off, it will take even less power. We don't need the thruster on. I don't know if these are passively taking power or if they're always gonna function with power. So that's kind of all that I need right now. Oh, no, I need that on. We'll hop out of here. How much power do we have right now? Two and a half minutes. Great. So let's take a look at where we're at. We built our plates and we built our fuel cells. Let's go back over here. We need eight, so we'll do eight, right? That shouldn't be a problem. And then when that's done, we'll actually add a few more on there just because it's a little finicky the way this works. We'll give it a core. So this core you'll get in your inventory, in your uh, different compartments, and it's needed to make the base starter. So, just watch this craft up real quick. Um, while that's happening, I'm going to ask for three of these and three of these. And that's a really good idea off the bat. Um, these slopes are great, but they're really, really not ramps per se, and they're super steep from what I've seen. Um, but these are kind of your basic base building blocks, uh, which are pretty crazy because they all require a lot of metal. So we may have to go harvest up some of that iron over there very soon. So having iron and promethium that close is actually really good. Um, those 300 meters, 200 meters, or 300 both directions, very, very close compared to that. I tried to walk to that earlier, did not work. Did not work at all. Corn dogs. What up? How do I get this guy in my mouth? There we go. Where did all these come from? I don't remember picking these up. Okay, so when your stuff is built, it builds in here. Uh, does this require? No, it doesn't. So we'll just wait for these last two to finish. All right, so while they finished, um, I didn't do anything, I just kind of sat and waited, but let's go ahead and put these different things on our bar for now. So the first thing you need to place, obviously this can't be placed here because it's not connected to a base, is our base core, which is a pretty good size. And it only can be placed on the blue areas. Otherwise you'd have to flatten out the land. So a good area right there. Boom, but you can see it's freakishly high up. Uh, you gotta put stuff on top of that. There's no inside of that which is why we've taken the time to make a few extra blocks and our ramp here, which is facing the wrong way. So we'll just turn it around. And then the bottom of the ramp also facing the wrong way. Boom, there we go. Can I get up on here really easy? No, so we gotta level this out a little bit. So if we left click with this machine, it will slowly raise up the ground um, and if we right click it'll flatten that out so it won't once it's up like this high it won't really get rid of that but it will try and do this here All right it makes a pretty harsh corner and it flattens it out um, but we don't need to worry about that just yet and it's actually kind of not the greatest idea because we'll have to build off that side so for now let's just lift up on the ramp and there we go and now we can walk on up here awesome so let's get this food back on our bar take 
hear that. Okay, so what to do with our base? We got this little base here. Let's go ahead and make the next few things that we will need. We need to make, um, the first thing we need to make is a generator. So there's two generators here. There's the generator, which requires 10 components, a capacitor device, reactor core, two control devices, three electronics, and a computer. And there's a small generator. The small generator requires similar items. So which one can we use? So you see um, on the bottom of the little tooltip on the right there, it, the very last line says placeable, CV slash BA, GV, I think. Yeah, GV slash SV. So the ones that ends in V are different kinds of vehicles. So I think these are like spaceships. Uh, flying vehicles and this is a ground vehicle and a base so BA is base now we don't have the stuff to make that and it's also out of fuel so give me just one second to calculate the exact amount of everything we're gonna need all right so it's deep in the night time right now we're probably out of um, power in this device but we've made some more fuel cells so we're good there all right so here's what we're gonna need. We've gone over to the components section. And I need 17 electronics. So I don't know if there's a way to increase this by a bigger number. We'll test that in a second. Six cables. Uh, where's our cables at? One, two, three, four, five, six. 26 metal components. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Let's clear these, clear these all together. So, um, yes, 17 of these is correct because they only make one each. Uh, and the cables, I need six of, and these make two each, so I just need three. Metal components, I need 26. There's two per creation. So I need 13 iterations, nice. And then cables, I need 10 more. How did I do that twice? Okay, that was an accident. So I actually need 16 of these overall, which means I need, yeah, 16 overall, right? Because cables output two. So I need eight overall. So actually go up to eight on that one. Don't know why I did that. Then I need three sets of pipes, which are these, which three of those. Uh, I will need a motor and two control devices. One, two, and a motor. This is red right now because I don't have any of the components, but this should be everything that I need to make all of the base parts of the uh, generator. So let's just check our fuel tank here. It's still on, so it should absorb that right away. Yep and we'll just give it a few of these to work with because we're going to need them. Actually, I'm always just concerned that I'm gonna walk away, so I don't want to put too many in there. All right, so we'll be back when this finishes up on part two. All right, this is just finishing up now, so let's go on over to our computer again, or our, our small generator. We're gonna need two capacitor devices, one reactor core, and two computers. So let's just go down here one reactor core, two capacitor devices, and two computers. And I'm really hoping I did my math right. Uh, it'll really suck if I didn't, because I'm gonna try and write this down and keep this somewhere, because it's really handy to have, um, if you're gonna be playing this a lot. Uh, if you're not playing it too much, then you can just kind of stumble through the first time. But you can see we're starting to run out of our resources pretty, at a pretty good rate. We haven't actually really built anything yet with them. And we're starting to, to get low on that default, that starter set. Um, once that's done, what you can do is you can queue up the generator. But what I've found is that if the last component needed is the first, is the one right before this, so the last component needed is gonna be the second computer here, the generator doesn't really notice that it is um, you know, I never added those 12 metal components. So we'll actually do 38 metal components. Um, I'm gonna have to make those right now. 
So 12 more of these. So what you'll see is like, um, oof, I think I was missing something else. Oh no, no, I just finished them. So we're missing the two extra control devices. So my math is way off. Uh, oh, we just ran out of power. Oh, no, 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 no. So my math was way, way off on this. Um, we're actually still short the two control devices. Hmm. So I'm going to add two more to that because I think that's what I would have been missing. And then maybe I can post this somewhere that it's actually useful for people. But um, so say I had, I was ready to make the generator. I put it right here because the last component was still being made. It doesn't really register quick enough that everything is available. So it cancels the generator creation. So we'll just go down here to control device. We'll make two more of those. Those are quick and, and cheap and easy. And I think that's everything for that. We should also be able to move right on to the fuel cell and everything here rather soon. Um, I think we'll be good for resources for a little bit longer. Um, so we'll add the generator. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to need another control device. So we'll just, I'll show you what I mean here. Uh, our oxygen is getting a little low, so we'll run over here and we'll just top up. Easy. So all you have to do for that is make sure your oxygen is containers are in here. When they're empty, they'll consume them and just stand in front of this oxygen station there. I wish I could salvage some of this. Oh, it worked. Sweet. Okay. Awesome. So we're making our small generator. So what's next for us? It needs a fuel tank. It needs to be able to create and or it needs to, be able to store fuel. And for that, we need to use these fuel tanks. So to make sure we're using the right one, gotta make sure we pick the one with the BA on the bottom of it. We'll need four metal components, four electronics, and three cables. I'm gonna make those even though it says I have four. So one, two, three, four, four electronics, I think I said. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and three cables. So we'll let that finish up as the sun rises. Grab us some of this uh, alien plasma here. Don't know what it's for, but I feel like it's everywhere, so I must have it. Um, and then after we got our generator down here, we'll go dig in and we'll, we'll see how that works. Um, maybe shoot a few aliens as well. We got some ammos for it. Um, and see if maybe we can process their food. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't done that yet. I'll have to make something else. Uh, we're getting a little low on food here, so let's try these corn dogs. Not bad. Actually worked pretty well. So now we're making up the last things we're going to need for that. Let's say small fuel tank. Yep, that'll be next. Um, this generator is ready for placement though. Even though it says a small generator, nothing in this game is very small. Boom, look at that thing. It's insane. So we're gonna put it, oh, that's the wrong way. Like this, right there. Uh, I kinda wish I'd moved it over one, but oh well. So, all we need to do now is put our fuel um, cells somewhere on this base structure. So we can expand a little more first or we can just plop it down. I think I'm gonna plop it down. Why not? I'll expand another direction. And it is almost done. Should be done. It, is it stuck? It seems somewhat stuck. It ran out of power part way through. And now it seems, oh, there it is. I was say, it seems stuck. I didn't take it with me. I always forget to bring it with me. And I've queued up the stuff that I need to make the, um, the next stage of constructing. So if you want to expand the amount of recipes you have, you need this large constructor. And I think I've queued up everything I'm going to need to make it with the exception of um, these last two computers. One, two, possibly. Uh, I, I don't write down the big stuff. 
That should be good. We'll see. Oh, two motors. Hope I included those in the com in the maths. I don't think I did, but we'll see. All right. So come over here. Got our fuel tank, and we'll put it down right here. So even though it says it's small, again, not very small. <laughs> and if we access this and put a couple of fuel cells in here, we can come back over to our generator and just hit Y on it and it'll turn on. Look at that. So this facility has power now. Power for what? Power to do our constructing, power to do our oxygen stuff, power to do whatever we want. So we can start to work on an actual base structure. So we're gonna get low on um, iron here rather quickly and we'll just see if those can finish. While it's happening, why don't we boot on over to the iron deposit and see if we can't pick up some extra resources. You do have a jetpack, but you press J to turn your jetpack on, and you'll notice you can't sprint. Not sure I understand that feature, but, uh, ooh, I discovered a copper resource too, that's good. I don't think this guy's hostile. Um, hello, you hostile? No. Uh, when you have your jetpack on, you travel pretty quick, but you don't have a lot of, of I don't know, charge on it, I guess. It, it doesn't last very long before you have to let it reset. So I just, I don't see the function of it yet. If there's a way, I'm sure there's gonna be a way to update it, upgrade it at some point here. Um, there's a lot of stuff that is still in, implemented already that I haven't touched. I'm really excited to see what that building was over there. Uh, I think it's through there maybe, oh. All right, so here's our iron deposit. Let's just start to dig this puppy out. So those bigger circles there, the ones that are persistent that don't disappear, those are our actual pieces of iron. So you just kind of come on through here and, and go to town on this vein and we'll get loads of iron from it. I mean, tons of iron. Uh, and this is, I don't know if this is a huge, oh, I need something to eat, it says, okay. I need to get me a food processor, that's right. I like the tips in this. The tips kind of remind me of some of the tips from Ark. Not tips, the little like, hey, you're hungry, hey, you're cold. Um, I think they are adding an atmosphere, like a cold, hot survival aspect to this as well. But they're not as annoying as the ones in Ark. The ones in Ark are quite in your face. I also wish there was a button to sort of collect up a large amount of this at once. So that got us a lot of iron ore. We'll leave that as it is for now. You'll see we picked up 105 iron ore out of that right there. Boom. And we didn't even use that much of our drill. So let's just run on back. On the way back, I saw this guy. Now, I can't remember if this is one of the hostile ones, but we're gonna kill it anyways. Oh, shifty. It's a pretty good idea to have some stamina when you're fighting these things. There we go, it's dead. And we can loot its meat. Oh, that sound effect. We can loot its meat. Um, its buddy shouldn't bother us. I don't think they're the hostile kind. <clears throat> One of the things in this that's actually quite bugged is going to be the um, the way in which these enemies attack. They don't hit properly, so they have to be like on top of you to hit, which isn't. Uh, it isn't a terrible thing for us, but does make it kind of easy to take them down. I think at the same time, though, they are also quite quick. Uh, your stamina, if you're out of stamina and you're trying to run away from these things, and they, if they did attack properly, no bueno at all. Um, we're just going to check on our oxygen supply here. Sweet, and we'll let it keep generating. And head on back to base. So what you want to do with your ore is take it and put it in a constructor and put it in its inventory somewhere. So you need to scroll down on. Um, and then go into your components and your processing and you see you make five iron ore into 10 ingots. So we have 105, which means I believe we can make 11 ish 
That doesn't make any sense. Um, hold on, let's just cancel this. I don't know how to cancel it. I used to be able to cancel it. It's going to go through that. I don't know why. Yeah, it, it, I think 11 was right, actually. I don't know why I set up 100. And then once that's done, we should be able to make the constructor. Okay. So, uh, that's going to prep up that. I think once the iron's done, I should probably work on expanding. Uh, sorry about that. My game got minimized, and that makes my recording software unhappy. So, um, anyways, I think I need to work on building this base up a little bit. Uh, let's just wait for the constructor to be ready, and then we will uh, call that an episode while I do a bit of work on the, um, this should be out of order soon, excuse me, a bit of work on the base, maybe even make the refrigeration unit, who knows, let's get crazy. Um, some of these things you kind of have to break, if you want to harvest them, they stay there and they get restocked. But if you need to get rid of them, you can just break them with your uh, drill. Just hit them real hard and they're good to go. So our fuel source, our main fuel source is that promethium over there. So when we're getting down to our last bit of promethium, in fact, I need to make some more fuel cells for sure. When we're getting down to the last bit of promethium, I gotta remember to go and get more. Um, the thing that we need to look at is how to make the drill charge. One fuel pack and five metal pieces piece of cake um we will probably venture into the assault rifle next episode as well because it's pretty awesome and the remove and repair tool um because that i've been wondering about as well if we want to pick something up it's kind of impossible right now i think the shotgun is also might not be a bad thing to look into but the shells this is the assault rifle ammo metal piece five the shells are a little bit cheaper, but they don't output very much. And they don't need to in comparison to the assault rifle just burns through ammo, I, I'm guessing. But let's go ahead and wait for this to finish to see what happens. So before it gets too, too dark, let's go put down our super constructor. This thing is huge, so I actually might need to, uh, you know, I'll put it down, I'll invest in that tool, and we'll, we'll move it in a minute. Uh, so the constructor first thing I want to look at is what other weapons can we make I have not seen this um, sniper rifle yes rocket launcher laser pistol shotgun tier 2 minigun sniper tier 2 pulse rifle oh boy that looks fun uh, laser rifle rocket launcher again and then of course all the weapons all, all the ammo for it um, these, I think, are mounted weapons. Yep, they are. They're mounted weapons, for sure. And the ammo and things that are required for those. Uh, lots of extra components and crafting, uh, base crafting things that you can make. Loads of extra of this stuff. Uh, and eventually, of course, all the special spaceship items that we need. So, that'll do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tea time. Uh, I think we'll go with tea time for now. If you've got a better suggestion for the name of the segment, let me know. And I will definitely do another one of these for sure. Um, and then we'll move on and, and see what you guys think. So until then, keep your eye on the channel. Throw me some likes if you really want to see this as a series. All right, guys. Deuces.